Pitan is an action puzzler port of a 1984 MSX game of the same name. You're a mother hen who has let her chicks waddle off and you need to save them from the big bad wolf. She's on the top floor of this multi-layered tower and the little ones are at the bottom. Over the several floors there are seesaws arranged in various patterns and your goal is to get a chick to stand on one end so that you can propel it up a level by dropping an egg down onto the other end. Your chicks are completely reliant on you, they'll walk until they hit a wall and turn around and stop once they're at a seesaw. They can only get on them if their side is down, so you'll need to drop an egg on it. Choose from five difficulty modes, ranging from easy to crazy. It's really just to do with how quickly the wolf moves and how persistent he is. You drop eggs with B and have an unlimited supply. You're actually laying them, not just chucking them, poor girl. Although there is a par score per level of 30. If you manage to get all surviving chicks to the top level using less than 30, you get an incrementally greater bonus. Only one egg can be on screen at any time, so you'll have to wait until it's landed before pooping out another one. You can get an egg bonus sometimes. I think it happens if you manage to hit three or more seesaws with one drop, which lets you fire two eggs at the same time. This sounds like a bit of a LARP about, I know, but there's a wolf trying to eat your chicks. It'll first scale the side of the screen, sniffing about, after which it'll go after the chick who is highest up the platforms at that time. If it manages to get to the chick, it'll catch the poor thing in its mouth. If this happens, you have a short time to lob an egg at the wolf to rescue your little one. You start with three babies, but it's not like you get three per stage or anything like that. Lose one and you'll only have two left on the next stage. There's a real dark undertone to the cutesiness of Pitan's surface. Once all surviving chicks are safely home at the top, the level is over. You get a cumulative score based on whether you're under par, the time, and how many chicks made it. Get a full house to be greeted with the words non-death, which is the most morbid way to say perfect I've seen yet. If all the chicks perish in the maw of the wolf, that's game over, although you do get unlimited continues. There's sadly no save game or password system, which makes getting through all 24 rounds a little bit of an endurance test. It's worth it though, to see a funny, albeit harrowing, outro sequence where your chicken is playing a drum, with drumsticks? I'm not even sorry. To her dancing chicks, while perched atop the gallows of the wolf that you've just hanged. Seriously, it's just hanging there dead, swaying in the breeze, your family dancing some tribal dance. We may have found the reason why Pitan never left Japan. Every now and then you'll get a bonus stage, which come in a few forms, but mostly just revolve around mashing B as quickly as you can. In one, you're in a tug of war against the wolf and need to pull him off the plinth. In another, you have a basket and need to catch falling eggs from four tubes. One where you mash B to stop your caged babies falling into a cook pot. There may be more as well. If you do well enough on these bonus stages, you'll have one more chick on the next stage. The way the eggs fall is quite clever. If you aim one at a seesaw, it'll kind of roll off it in a way which moves its vertical course slightly to either side. You need to do this in order to hit ramps, or the wolf, that are lower down, rather than aiming directly at it, so keeping an eye on the whole layout is something you'll need to get used to. The artwork on the box and cartridge is really gorgeous and matches the style in-game. Pitan is a delightful sort of puzzler action game that sadly is far too expensive for what it is. It's a Japanese exclusive and is rare enough over there. There's usually one or two online for sale that people just aren't prepared to spend the asking price on. If money is no object, pick it up and treasure it. Otherwise, there are worse ways to spend half an hour than with a ROM of this game.
Thanks so much for watching this video. The Kickstarter for the book is now live. Check the link in the description for how you can back the project and be the first to get your hands on the Portable Power Encyclopedia, featuring more than 900 Game Boy game reviews and a whole wealth of useful information on the world's favorite handheld console. See you later on.